Hi, my name is Representative Vincent Baez, and we are here right now in the 42nd District in Bellingham, Washington. I grew up around here, up in Linden. Having grown up on a farm and also having my own small business, I really saw the impact that government was having both in agriculture and on small businesses. It was that frustration that really caused me and forced me to get in there and get involved and make decisions that will help businesses out and help businesses succeed so we can get Washington working again. When I look at a program or a policy, I want to say, does that program work? And if it's implemented, come back a few years later and say, has this program accomplished what we set out to do? If it hasn't, then we need to look at that program and revamp it, or we need to get rid of it and try something different. I think one of the things that I find the most gratifying about being a legislator is having the ability for people to come and talk to me and work with them on their different issues. Whether it be issues with education, whether it be issues with agriculture or businesses, or whether it just be issues with our public safety net and making sure that people that are, are the most needy in society are being taken care of. I, I really enjoy working with the constituents as they come down to Olympia and talk to the office and talk to me about where they're struggling and how government can make it better or how government can get out of the way and how I can be a part of that process. I really enjoy working with people, I really enjoy helping people, and I really enjoy solving problems. A lot of the decisions we make as legislators have a huge impact on what happens with higher education. Higher education has been a big part of my life. I graduated here from Bellingham Tech with a degree in electronic technologies and has given me the skills necessary to troubleshoot, not only in an electronic sense, but I believe skills necessary in life to troubleshoot issues and, and problems that we face at the state level. I believe that the community technical colleges here in Whatcom County have dramatically helped to produce the students that we need for the jobs that we have. Without community colleges, people wouldn't have the skills necessary to go right into the workforce. Without our technical colleges, people wouldn't have the skills necessary for those family wage jobs in the technical industries, such as the refineries or the Intelco aluminum plant or any of the other heavy industries. Whatcom County has a diverse economy of not only light industry and commercial, but also heavy industry. It's important and vital that we continue to support those industries by providing the skills necessary in our students so that they can get hired directly by these businesses. We see a huge impact on higher education, especially through the budget cuts. We continue to take more and more of the state resources and direct them away from education. This is something that we need to change in the future. We need to continue to direct the money to education at a sustainable rate so that we're not continually coming back to the students and saying, you need to pay more, you need to raise your tuition rates. We have the money, we have the resources, let's make sure we make education a priority. I think what makes education in the institutions in the 42nd District very unique is the diversity. We have the Northwest Indian College, which serves our Native American population here, which is has a, having a huge impact in the, the prosperity and the future of our Native American population. But then we also have Bellingham Tech, which really focuses on those hands-on family wage job skills. We also have Whatcom Community College in our district. Whatcom Community College provides a lot of different training from Bellingham Tech. There's nursing courses, there's business courses, there's accounting courses. These types of courses will help people get trained up in a very short time to get into those types of jobs. But then lastly, we have Western Washington University, which we're up here on campus right now. Western Washington University has great programs up here, also some in business, but we also have a great vehicle research institution. We have material sciences. We have a great environmental program up here. And all these different institutions and their programs help create a very diverse and exciting educational experience for people in Whatcom County. I believe that higher education is very important in our state because it is really truly training the next generation of businessmen, businesswomen, and the workers that are going to carry our economy into the future. When I'm not down in the legislature, I'm in the construction industry currently, and as a small business owner, some of the things that I've encountered that have made it more and more difficult to operate business here in Whatcom County has obviously been some of the taxes. We continue to pay more and more in taxes. The regulatory burden is continuing to increase, but also just the employment taxes, the cost to have an employee or the cost to operate a business. I think that one of the great ways that the legislature can help grow the economy in Washington State is to loosen up the regulations so that businesses can afford to operate here in Washington. 
We need to get LNI labor and industries and workers comp programs under control. If we don't, the cost to businesses are going to continue to increase to the point where businesses will either close or they'll leave the state. Washington State is blessed with numerous high paying jobs, high wage jobs, whether it be at Microsoft, whether it be Boeing, whether it be any of our refineries. Unfortunately, we continue to make it more and more difficult. One of the things I believe that our state needs to do is really focus on what it can do to keep our aerospace industry in Washington State. We need to make sure that our higher institutions are focusing on creating the skill sets that our high tech jobs need whether it be in the aerospace or whether it be computer programming. We need to make sure that the students we're putting out are students that can go right into the job sector and get those high paying jobs. If they're not able to find a workforce, they're either going to hire people from out of state or they're just going to move their businesses to where that educated workforce is. We need to make sure that we continue to prioritize creating the workforce that these businesses and other businesses need. Otherwise, we won't have these businesses to continue to pay the taxes that we need to fund the programs that we need as a state. Let's get Washington working again.